Hey everybody, Rich here, using Firefox 4 Beta 11. At least I think it's Beta 11. Yes, Beta 11. I finally decided to make the switch and try to use this browser full time. So far I'm really happy with it. One of the extensions that I used for Firefox 3.6 extensively was Screen Grab. And Screen Grab is awesome because what it does is that it will grab the entire screen. So if you want to take a screenshot of both the top and what you can't see, there was a little icon down here, or you could just right click and get a context menu, and it would grab the whole thing in a JPEG or a PNG, which was cool because, you know, everyone takes screenshots from time to time, and it's easy. But it does not work in Firefox 4. Blah! So I said, eh, what am I going to use now? Well, there's one here called Screenshot Pimp. <laughs> Not the best name in the world, but this really works well. I am very, very happy with this. Uh, it says it works from Firefox 1.5 all the way to 4.0. And I'm using the latest Beta 11, and oh yes, it works. So if you're using a Firefox anywhere from 1.5 or above, it'll work. Now when it installs by default, what it does is that it puts a toolbar here, and yes you can get rid of it thankfully, but the toolbar is not too bad. Uh, what it does is that it saves not only screenshots, but also video as well, which is really cool. So if I open a tab and go to PCMX YouTube channel, and you start a video, now you'll notice the save video is grayed out right now, but if I go and load the video, you'll see this lights up and it starts to animate and what you can do is just click and it saves the FLV so you click and then you can bring up your download manager with a control J and it shows that it's downloading the FLV and the FLV is viewable with a uh, media player like VLC which most of you are familiar with and that's great so save video no problem stop that and clear. The only thing I found is that I don't like the fact that it continues to animate. There might be an option to turn that off, but it, whenever there's a video, there's, this thing's always moving. Now for screenshot, you can just click and you have all these options here where you can do the complete page, a visible portion, a selection. So if I do selection, it grays out and you just drag what you want and it will save that selection to the desktop and there it is, that is the selection that I had. Cool. Or my favorite part is complete page, so it will get not only the top part but all the way to the bottom here. It won't capture the flash for obvious reasons, but if I do save complete page, it saved it, and there's the whole thing. Let me try to get this into view here. Now, like I said, it didn't get the flash, but it does do the whole thing. That's wonderful, and it's simple, it's easy, great stuff. Now, from the preferences area, there's a, some more cool things about this, too. Where it says show in context menu, I said, oh, cool. That means uh, you can get to it from a right click, and I just noticed icon style can be inert. So let's see if that turns off the animation. Well, maybe I have to reload. Let's try that. Ah, it does. Wonderful. Okay, so you don't have to have that animation going all the time. Let's go back into preferences. So when it's a show in context menu, like I said, that's a right click thing. So if, if I right click here, I should be able, oh, there it is, video downloader. I can get to it right from here. And the screenshot is also right from here too. That's great. What that also means is that you don't need the toolbar to do it, <laughs> which is good. Now, in the uh, screen so screenshot section, I also noticed that there are assignable shortcuts to doing a screenshot. So if you want a quick JPEG, just to control Alt J, and you've got your screenshot. So if I do Control Alt J, there it is, captured, done, right on the desktop. And also notice that you can tell it where to save. Uh, all your images so if you want to plop them on the desktop just hit the browse button and choose your desktop or your download folder or anything you want 
Now the appearance part just is what buttons you want to see and not to see. Now as far as this toolbar is concerned, I can tap my Alt key, go to View, Toolbars, and Video Downloader Toolbar, and just get rid of it. So now it's gone, and that's good. It puts the Firefox back to where it was, and I can just access everything either from a right click on the context menu, or I can use the Control alt j to save a JPEG. And that's just cool. The whole thing just works great. So it is Screenshot Pimp. The link to it will be below this video. So if you use Firefox 1.5 up to 4, I consider this a must-have. If you do any screenshots, if you save any videos from YouTube or other sites, you should definitely use this.